Hey, uh, Dan Cooper here. Welcome to today's podcast. And uh, who else do we have but our own very special uh, local mayor, Rob Burton. And uh, it's an honor to have you here, my friend. Dan, it's an honor to be anywhere with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for that. And obviously, it's uh, been exciting times. And obviously, uh, this is right down to the crunch. Uh, we got the election on Monday. And uh, you seem like you're not stressed and you're looking forward to everything. So it's been, it's been a good run. Well, I've, I've only had four terms, and so the best is yet to come. Right. And, uh, you know, this is actually, in business, you have this thing called a 360 performance review. Mm -hmm. Now, in business, you get it every year. But as mayor, it's only every four years. Yeah, So true. Monday is the results. We unwrap the results of my latest 360. It's true. In fact, on that note, I mean, four terms, so that's like 16 years. So one more term, like 20 years in office. Well, I like to look at it this way. Uh, Harry Barrett, the greatest mayor in Oakville history, had six terms. And, and yes, terms were a different length than he had two different lengths. Mm -hmm. and, uh, there was so much evolution going on in the province. Mm -hmm. And uh, my dear friend, my predecessor, mm -hmm. had... had uh, six terms and uh and, and had six terms yeah yeah and uh, she too had uh or no all of her terms were three years and uh, when i got elected uh in 2006 is when they so that term became four years so my joke was i got a 33 percent increase in term length when i won <laughs> and uh but it's only four terms um you know, she did 18 years. Um, I thought, you know, I was fine with her uh, mm -hmm. when, when I moved here. I, I thought she was doing a great job. Mm -hmm. uh, we had really rapid growth in the 90s and the first part of the 2000s, and we fell way behind on community facilities, mm -hmm. uh, hockey arenas, sports fields of all kinds. And uh, I, would, I was never interested in politics. I would never have run except that in the sports clubs, we were fed up not having enough stuff. Yeah. We didn't have arenas, didn't have ice time, didn't have enough playing fields and all that. And one night, we all said, geez, we should run. Wow. And if we get elected, let's build the stuff. Yeah. And I said, or what they actually said was, you run. And I said, well, it doesn't work that way. You have to have a majority. So I'm not running unless you run. And we all thought, well, we'll never win. But we did, but we ran, there you go. and we won. And, uh, and so we built the stuff. And, uh, and then in Ontario, you have to keep growing. You're never allowed to shut the door. You can't build a wall around Oakville and make Mississauga pay for it. Right. And, uh, and so we <clears throat> kept, uh, you know, we kept on building stuff. And that's why we have so many, we have 240 kilometers of trails and we've got, I mean, we have so many parks, you can't count them all. Mm -hmm. uh, and, we're, we're going to build a new community center next year. We're going to build a, you know, I know everybody in town isn't thrilled or, you know, dying to go to a cricket game, but there's a whole bunch of new people in town who do like cricket. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so we're going to have a tournament quality cricket field. Wow. Yeah. You know, cricket, picket, uh, pickleball, pickleball, things like that. Are all oh, and pickleball. Ball. What a, <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. Like it's an explosion, it yeah. and it's taking over everywhere. I mean, even at the at the Oakville Club, where I thought tennis was king, you've got all kinds of pickleball people. It's true, it's true. Yeah. I, I just wish they would invent a way to hit that ball without making a noise that wakes up the entire world. <laughs> right? It's true. It Have you loud. heard this? Whack! It's all, it's all, it is loud. It's a hell of a whack. Yeah. Okay, so uh, sixteen years in office. Uh, what can we expect next? What are you What are you looking forward to? Well, the thing I'm, I'm really excited about is the, I like, I want to leave a legacy. And, uh, and I also like uh, trying to have a first place kind of distinction. So the biggest municipal park in the country is Stanley Park. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's 1,001 acres. Mm -hmm. We can build, and council, council has, uh, has let us begin, a 2,000 acre eco park in the part of Oakville above the 407. No kidding. And we'll have a permanent nature preserve, mm -hmm. no development, a, a permanent getaway to nature. And this will be on top of the, uh, the local green belt that I created, the, uh, 
2,800 acre natural heritage system that runs in a band across North Oakville. And, uh, and for that matter, the Halton Enhanced Natural Heritage System, which protects 51% of the region from development. So we'll always, we'll always be green, even as we have to continue to grow. So uh, the uh, Canadian government has decided, and I don't dispute it, that we need more people. Mm -hmm. We need more workers. Uh, we have a whole bunch of people who need to bring their families over, and there's nothing wrong with that. But if they're going to come, we're going to need places for them to live. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to, and you know, when Canada decides how much to open the gate, the provinces have to deal with it. Right. And so Queen's Park, and for that matter, the other provinces, have told their cities, start building houses. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, as a matter of fact, on Tuesday, uh, I think the, the cat has slipped out of the bag in Queen's Park. The province is going to implement on Tuesday a whole bunch of new rules about minimum heights for uh, towers around go stations and uh, increased targets of population. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, so we're talking about minimum heights, not just maximum heights. Well, never, the province has wow. never believed in maximum. Yeah. Wow. As a matter of fact, in the law, because the growth plan is a law, it's, a, it's an act of the legislature. It says minimum, mm -hmm. and uh, and what that means is. Uh, they want more. And you can see already that this year, Richmond Hill was balking at uh, doing as much as the province wanted. And within, and you know, <laughs> they were looking at a, a beautiful layout with lots of park space and uh, some low towers and a couple of towers in the vicinity of 70 stories. And, uh, and they balked even at that. And four days later, the province hit them with an order putting in massive amounts of um, towers, stripping out the parkland, and now the towers are more than 80 stories. Long. No. So, <clears throat> to quote, to, and by the way, every party in the legislature supports this. There's like, there's no appeal, there's no hope. If, you know, if you don't like it, I don't know where you're gonna go. So, uh, well, you need a certain amount of density to make a town or a city work. You do, and, uh, and the, uh, and the reality is, Queen's Park is the boss of us. They mm -hmm. create cities and they destroy cities. Uh, and, I mean, does everybody remember in the 90s, we had almost 1,500 cities in Ontario, and one day they decided that's too many, yeah. and the next day we had 444? Right, amalgamations. Yeah. So I wanna, I wanna interject here and bring a little bit of focus to the, uh, to the conversation, if you don't mind. Um, you know, well, somebody, somebody has to bring a little focus here to the uh, discussions. Mr. Um, focus. So we've, we've obviously seen, you know, uh, many of your accomplishments, uh, you know, over the, over the course of your, um, your, your, your leadership here as, as mayor of Oakville. My but, short time. But your short time, very short time. What would you say, though, is, is, is your highlight, your most significant uh, impact that, you know, like, yes, that was me, Rob Burton, that I did? I doubled our community facilities, our sports facilities, and as a result, our active living. Mm -hmm. and, um, and the other day I, I got a report from a UN, from a United Nations affiliated agency at the U of T, that um, our longevity and our health is the highest, is among the highest in the world of any city. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have more doctors per capita, more hospital beds per capita, we're the envy, not just of Canada, but the world. And I had a little bit to do with that, as you may remember, because uh, I had accumulated the money to build a new performing arts center, which is way overdue, mm -hmm. and a new mm -hmm. central library. And then all of a sudden, it, the, the hospital showed up and right. said, well, we have to have a local share for to have our hospital. Mm -hmm. And the local share is 530 million, and and was it a two hundred million dollar variance or something? Like it was one hundred and actually it was uh, one hundred and seventy. One seventy. Get right down to yeah. it. So anyway, we negotiated, and it turned out that, that they could do the whole thing if the town would give them the hundred and thirty million dollars that we had accumulated for the performing arts okay. center. Okay. Yeah. And so we had to make that classic choice of let's see, do I want to watch a a show or do I want to live? Right. Mm -hmm. Show, live. It's kind of a hard, uh, hard. Yeah. It was a tough call, so uh, 
but council voted, um, let's see, 11 to two. Okay. To uh, swallow hard and, and go for the, the new modern hospital, not knowing that COVID was gonna right. come and that puppy was gonna save our lives. No kidding, right? So it's, yeah, it's sometimes you make the right choice, but you don't. It, it, it's for a reason you don't know yet. And you hope it was the right choice, and yeah. then you're like, yes, it was. So the Performing Arts Center and the library are now, <clears throat> you know, since then, we've built up our finances again, and we're, we're able to afford them again, even though they cost more now because of inflation. And, uh, and why are they important? Well, they were built in the 70s when our population was in the 70,000 range. Mm, right. And we're like three times that now. So overdue and uh, I'm hoping that, uh, and you know, we've done extensive public consultation on it. We know the whole town is excited about it. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing that uh, is crucial for the next term is we need more parking in the Brawny Main Street Traditional mm -hmm. Business mm -hmm. District. Right. And we need it in the Kerr Village Traditional Main Street Business District. And, downtown. and in downtown Oakville. Absolutely. Yes. And in downtown Oakville, uh, we could have a four-story parking structure made to look like a pretty building instead of a parking structure. Mm -hmm. And drum roll. We could have an attraction on top, perhaps a licensed attraction on top. <laughs> nice. And at four stories, you know how far you could see? Probably see Lake yeah. Ontario. Lake Ontario, you could see Niagara. There you yeah. go. See? There you go. That's a little, little bit of vision right, right there. there. I like that. And then That's I've always been, you guys were here and I was here when we lost Sharkies. Mm -hmm. And that was our, our waterside. Iconic uh, legend. Yeah, that, was, know, the water, that was, was the water bowl. I remember yeah. when my daughters, when we couldn't figure out where they were, we go, oh, they must be Sharkies. Sharkies. Yeah, of course. Sharkies and what was the restaurant there? The river or the riverside? Riverside. Yeah. 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 I remember Sharkies was full, the riverside not so much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Something about that creaky deck hanging <laughs> over the river, <laughs> you know, really appeal. Yeah, those are some times, right? So um, we're going to build uh, a waterside bistro pub in each of our harbors. I love that. Awesome. Good to hear. Yeah, that's so. I, yeah. You know, if you want to accuse me of trying to make Oakville more fun, not just more livable, but more fun, <laughs> I'll plead guilty. <laughs> Well, your motto has always been, let's keep uh, Oakville more livable. And obviously you were focusing on protecting green space, uh, building infrastructure, and obviously maintaining strong finances, which you've done. Um, you know, what are you gonna focus on over the next four years? Well, besides the Eco Park and the downtown and Brawny and Kerr, uh, oh, the other thing I wanna do is, you know how we beautified downtown with the big wide sidewalks? And yeah and the charging stations there. And we made it more of a people place. Mm -hmm. It's way more European now because you have more street life. And we didn't, mm -hmm. we didn't used to have as much street life and patios mm -hmm. and stuff. So Bronnie and Kerr need that too. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's part of my fun program. Mm -hmm. right? make, make everything in Oakville more fun. More yeah. livable fun and, and livable, more right? fun. <laughs> well, we're okay, we're on board with that. Yeah. Um, this is another question here though. Um, so, so I know as mayor, you know, one of the mandates is to to sort of, you know, help encourage and attract business, you know, to our community. But not, not only is, you know, attracting business, you know, important, but also retaining. So how do you feel about that? What are some of your strategies that you have in place of, you know, keep that, keep that employable sort of business here in town where they don't have to venture off into the tertiary areas, you know, so. Well, you, you guys know that I'm a, a retired corporate executive, uh, uh, entrepreneur, and I started a television network called YTV. YTV. What was that network? Uh, just a, a little thing, right? right. And uh, uh, the most successful television startup in Canadian history was all it was. And uh, uh, owing to my superb good luck, I got the Teenage Ninja Mutant Turtles for Canada. No kidding. <laughs> yeah, so if you didn't like what they did to your kids, blame me. Blame you. I, I right. brought them in. Yeah. I didn't know that. So. In business, everything is around metrics. Mm -hmm. You know, set set targets, measure, and 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 read the results. So we do that mm -hmm. for economic development. We have an economic development strategy that says there's six different sectors that are high value with high paying jobs, and this is what and you have a limited amount of uh, job space in your town. Mm -hmm. So you can spend it on any kind of jobs you want. 
why don't we spend it on good ones? Mm -hmm. So we focused on that for 16 years. And everything in the province around cities is dictated by Queen's Park. So mm -hmm. we have a population target, mm -hmm. which by the way, we have met every year I've been mayor. There's people going around saying that I was no growth. And if you read the census, you can see that, well, we grew 2% a year while I've been mayor. So is that the mandate right now? So 2% so growth? It, it is in fact built into the Ontario legislation about growth yeah. that uh, you're to grow 2% a year. On Tuesday, I think that's going to change upward a bit by, like, it might be 3% mm -hmm. uh, for at least the next 10 years because they, they pledged in Queen's Park to build 150,000 houses a year instead of 100,000 mm -hmm. a year in Ontario. Right. And, you know, our share is, I don't know, some, yeah, some 2 or 3%, yeah. whatever we are of the province. Yeah. But uh, for jobs... Uh, we have a mandated target that we're, and by the way, when they give you this target, it's hilarious. Like for the population target, and, and they don't want you to do more, mm -hmm. or at least until Tuesday, they don't want you to do more than what they said. So for jobs, our target, where we're supposed to be today, according to the province's dictates, is 100,000 jobs in Oakville. We're at 110,000. So call me an overachiever, an overachiever, I don't care. Mm -hmm. um, I think jobs are important for the livability and the prosperity of your town. Absolutely. Tax One of the everything. places where all those jobs, I mean, tons of those jobs, is at the Ford assembly plant, mm -hmm. which is, everybody thinks, oh, I'm not sure what everybody thinks, but I, when, when we started out in 2008 in the recession, right. when the government was going to let the auto industry go, they, every, everybody was Darwinian. Mm -hmm. Only the strong should survive. Mm -hmm. I started the auto mayors to successfully lobby Ontario and Canada to learn that auto manufacturing is the most advanced manufacturing, very high tech. Mm -hmm. I mean, have you ever noticed your car is a computer? Yeah. And uh, well, I've been waiting eight months for it, Chip. Yeah. Eight, eight months? Yeah. Okay. So, um, so we saved the auto industry and then, and then we kept the auto mayors going. And a good thing too, because we had to save them again two more times. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, there's thousands of jobs there, mm -hmm. yeah, true. and they're high-paying, high-tech, advanced manufacturing jobs. We also have the world's leading uh, uh, aircraft landing gear manufacturer, and that's very high-tech too. And we have a whole bunch of other world-beating companies here. And then we attract great businesses. Mm -hmm. My favorite business development story is getting the headquarters of Siemens to come here. Mm -hmm. And I, it's a big deal, I think, to have Siemens here. Mm -hmm. And Because uh, we were competing with which other location? Which everybody other else. Right. So, uh, but wasn't it primarily like Mississauga, like North Mississauga? Or? No, they were, they were leaving. They were in 22 locations, and the executives were in a place in Mississauga. And uh, our edge was that most of the executives look... Everybody who can wants to live, everybody, no matter what, wants to live in the most livable place possible, mm -hmm. of course. So where were the executives living? Oh, Oakville, right? Yeah. And so they got tired of driving to Mississauga. And they decided, not like we wouldn't know that, Dan, right? Being in real estate, you know, we yes. saw that all the time. So they, they decide, we're gonna, we're gonna put the national headquarters of Siemens in Oakville. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the last minute, and, and I say great, uh, I'll roll out the, the, not the red carpet, I rolled out the magic carpet. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and uh, you know, everything's going fine. And at the last minute, they fly in the Grand High Poobah of Siemens Worldwide. And he says, nice to meet you. And uh, Mr. Mayor, we have discovered that it is a dollar a foot cheaper in another city. <laughs> wow. Next to us and not in the direction of uh, Mississauga. Mm -hmm. And I looked at him and I said, yeah, but it's worth it here. Mm -hmm. right. And he goes, yeah, you are right. <laughs> right. So when they opened the building, they gave me a yeah. beautiful painting yeah. of their original national headquarters in Montreal. Wow. And I hang it in the mayor's office in the, in the most prominent place. Yeah. And every visitor uh, always asks me, what is that? And I tell them it's it's Siemens First National Headquarters in Canada. And they go, why do you have it there? And I said, well, because they gave it to me as a gift. And I figured the message was, we know how to leave. 
<laughs> so job one is to keep them. That yeah, speaks to your retention absolutely. question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and they're still here. All right. Uh, downtown Oakville, you know, uh, obviously it's been revitalized to a certain degree, but I still walk, you know, the commercial side and I still see a lot of uh, for lease signs. So yeah. I'm just curious, what are your plans going forth? And not so much just for Lakeshore downtown, but uh, we mentioned Kerr Street, Bronte, mm -hmm. uh, three areas that you say you want to have fun in. What, what are your plans to sort of revitalize those to bring more people in? Well, um, with extensive public consultation over the last, uh, just the last five years, leading up to 2021, we did miniature growth plans for Brownie Kerr and downtown Oakville. And in downtown Oakville, to start there, we have, I created uh, the long, the long wanted heritage district in the downtown. Mm -hmm. And so that has a, the, the much desired four story height limit mm -hmm. that everybody thought existed, but didn't, mm -hmm. but now does. And then around it, so that's kind of like the center of the downtown. And around it, especially to the north, we've got 12 story height limits. And you, you can see projects going up at, uh, on Navy. Right. Uh, that's 12 stories uh, between uh, Church and Randall. Mm -hmm. and, um, and there's other projects coming along. And so this will inject, the, the job is to inject a measured amount of new people mm -hmm. as as uh, customers for, the, yeah. for stores. Stimulate the economics. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, I mean, every shopkeeper I've ever known calls customers who walk through the store traffic. Mm -hmm. And when I announced the, in 2013, when I announced the vision for a new downtown, I, I said, I boldly said, I guarantee I'll give you the people. Mm -hmm. It's your job to convert them into customers. <laughs> Good point. Right. And and the, the the vacancies are way down. Uh, the next job down there is not just to get more residents, but to get more office uh, types, so that there's more daytime activity. Right. Because you know when the hospital was on Allen and Reynolds, exactly. There were like 3,800 people working yeah. there, yeah. who some of whom would traipse over for lunch, lunch yeah, you know, buy a suit. Yeah. 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 And so, you know, we've got to replace that. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's, there's no use crying and whining about how life changes things. Those forces are bigger than us. But then we can turn around and uh, put it back together better. Mm -hmm. And that's what we've done. And uh, I make no apologies for how long it takes to, uh, uh, to do. We're talk you're talking about major economic forces mm -hmm. that, that, you know, little old we, Little old Oakville is trying to bend in its favor. Right. Yeah, what, about, what about plans for Kerr Street? Same, op exactly the same uh, plan. Different, slightly different numbers, but not different enough to care about. Mm -hmm. uh, up and down Kerr Street, and ditto Brownie. Mm -hmm. Now, um, uh, this is an election. Uh, there are people in every part of town who would like to freeze Oakville. Uh, what? Uh, you, you know the show Brigadoon? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's a, a, a mythical, fantastical village on the Scottish Highlands that mm -hmm. hates the modern world so much that there's a spell on it. And every 200 years, they awaken and look out and check the modern world right. and go, oh God, no, I still hate it. And, they, and then, they go, <laughs> then they go back into the mists. Right. And uh, you know, there's an element in Oakville that wants Oakville to be Brigadoon. Yes. And freeze it. The whole resistance yeah. to change, right? You know, it's not going to And, you know, and, and hooray, mm. and, and good for you. There are places in Ontario that will not grow. And, uh, and in fact, there are some cities that are losing population. Um, there's a city, this is a, a little bit funny because people always wonder, what's the deal between calling yourself a city and calling yourself a town? Well, there's no deal. The Municipal Act says you can call yourself anything you want. Mm -hmm. So the city of Dryden, population 7,300, down from 7,500, is losing population. The city of Sudbury, I couldn't tell you what its population is, but when I, I was a college professor there, 
long, long ago, and it was like 160,000 then. I don't think it's, I doubt the city of Sudbury proper is much different. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah. So there's places you can live if you hate growth, but. Um, Oakville's not one of them, apparently. Well, you know, if you, if, if Oakville ever gets a veto over the legislature, we can do what we want. Yes. But uh, the trend for the last, I would say, 30 years mm -hmm. has been increasing control by the legislature. Mm -hmm. And there are people who are unacquainted with the fact that we have a constitution, and the constitution says the cities are controlled by the province, mm -hmm. full stop. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when the province gets annoyed, mm -hmm. they have the power. Right. I mean, did I mention Richmond Hill? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, Four days it took the province to say, okay, you're out of line, blam, here's what you get. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If you can't do it, we'll make you do it. Yeah. Well, we are seeing that growth in Bronte. You know, you have the, uh, what's called the village. You yeah. have the other uh, rental sort of, uh, you know, 400, I think, units there. Yeah. They got a new condo on the corner there, Lakeshore and Bronte, that's you know, slated to uh, actually start yeah. demo any time, yeah. I believe. Yeah, right? but look, the hardest part of being mayor is dealing with people who don't understand that planning takes place over like a 30-year time span yes so everything that's happened in the Bronte village mall there yep. all of that was set in cement before i ever got elected wow. and uh, there's people in oakville who were unhappy about what's going on north of dundas yes. all done before i became mayor of course yeah. and it's set in law and uh you know i have to you know i and we for that matter we have to accept it as a given mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you know it's it's no use getting yourself all worked up over stuff that you got no ability to do anything about. Meanwhile, the province has given us orders that uh, we have 155,000 more people to add to Oakville over the next 30 years and 72,500 new jobs to add to Oakville. Let's mm -hmm. call that 230,000 people in jobs. Mm -hmm. And uh, they gotta go somewhere. Absolutely. So the Liverpool mm -hmm. Oakville plan for 16 years has said, we have these growth nodes where we have basically transit hubs and let's put the people there. And what's the most affordable form of housing you can build? Oh, towers. Right. So we could put them there or we could have um, medium height apartment buildings on, you know, we could have extra density mm -hmm. on all of the stable established neighborhood streets where we live. Right. I'm pretty sure 80% of Oakville would rather right. they would put that, that in, our in the growth notes. Thank you very right. much. Yeah. Anyway, this election, I, I would never have made this election's ballot question, uh, where do they go? I would have made it, you know, do you want new cultural facilities? Do you want a new community center? Do you want an eco park? Right. But some people are trying to turn it into, uh, there shouldn't be any towers. A housing issue, <laughs> exactly. And, and, and I'm like, well, okay, where are you going to put them? Mm -hmm. And, you know, the answer has been coming back, oh, I'll sit down with the province and I'll negotiate with them and we'll get a better deal. And I'm like, every party in the legislature is in favor of doing more? <laughs> really? Yeah, it's an uphill battle. <laughs> So to keep uh, to keep it sort of you know on on, on time because we don't want to take up a lot of your time, um, and we appreciate your time here. And you're quite familiar with a rapid fire set of questions, right? Uh, so to keep it fun in here, Maris, we have um, we have about four rapid fires for you. Um, I'll start off by asking you, Mayor Burton, what is your favorite food? <laughs> food that's bad for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, Fried food that's crispy and crunchy and uh, delicious is, is my great weakness. And uh, I've been really good for several months now Okay. and uh, avoiding it. You've been doing like quinoa salad, you know? I have been eating salads like they're going out of style. Perfect. Perfect. And, uh, and the longer you go without eating... So your wife is quite happy for you uh, doing that. Everybody's <laughs> happy <laughs> and you know... As I long as you're feeling better. better. And, and I feel better and everything, but the longer you go without crispy crunchy the more magnetic it is <laughs> <laughs> that's funny perfect you try to keep your boy to sugar right i want it back <laughs> yeah, i want it back yeah. you want the dad bod <laughs> all right uh next question what's your favorite artist or or band well normally i would say jackson brown who is like you know too old for anybody but me 
Uh, but, 70s, 80s, yeah. Yeah, 60s, 70s. And, yeah. Uh, and I'm going to stick with my tried and true, but he's not the only one I like. Sure. Um, I, see, I see you at the Oakville Center all the mm -hmm. time, right? the performing arts. I have a daughter who's a musician, mm -hmm. and I should have said she's my favorite artist. Right. Yeah. Uh, I like all kinds of music. Yeah. Now, my family, each one has a different taste, but I like them all. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Like, Wendy and I are devoted subscribers to the Oakville Symphony. There's people in town who don't know we have a symphony. Mm -hmm. But, but we love it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they have the new center one day too. Well, this is the deal. I've been promising promising them a proper performing hall since I got elected. Yeah, well, it's going to happen. It is. Yeah. Favorite color? Blue. Blue. Yeah, that's mine too. Right. Uh, favorite realtor? Dan Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> That. That's a bit of a loaded question. But. <laughs> Was that the right answer? <laughs> that works. Well, you know, that's about it for us here, and uh, we'd like to appreciate your time. And, uh, you know, we want to encourage everybody to get out there and vote on Monday. It's yes. Very you know, get involved. In everybody participate. Very important, you know, and uh, good luck to you. Well, thank you. I'll just tell you that I'm pretty sure everybody's made up their mind, and it's just important that we all come out and vote because it's democracy and, and democracy needs to be, you need to exercise your vote in order to keep democracy strong. It's like this it's relationship, true. exercise strong and everything. And so whoever you're gonna vote for, come out and vote. Um, I'm aware that there's a Toronto developer who, who I beat at the Ontario Municipal Board mm -hmm. and he very much wants a new mayor in Oakville. Mm -hmm. And so he's putting up very ugly signs around I saw town. them, yeah. And, uh, you know, it's his constitutional legal right to prefer a different mayor. Amazing. Uh, and so, you know, he's, spent, he's allowed to spend $25,000 to try to but in paint a way, me. It's free publicity for you. Well, it depends on how people react to it. So exactly. far, so far, most people are telling me they're outraged. I tell them, yeah. don't be outraged, vote. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, good point. All right, All right. well, again, thanks. I appreciate your time, and uh, good luck with everything next week. Oh, you're always fun to talk to. 